Lies, lies, lies. Now, they weren't intentional lies, but clearly we've been misrepresenting the real physiology that our bodies crave. Historically speaking, let's go through what has happened in particularly the United States. We all remember President Eisenhower, at least guys like me, uh, American hero. Uh, but as the years went by, he developed heart disease and everyone blamed his heart disease and subsequent heart attacks to the amount of steak he was eating, the amount of fat he was consuming. He wouldn't have anything to do with the four packs of cigarettes that he was consuming every day. You had a lot of financial and economic interests that were wanting to push carbohydrates, particularly the grain industry and particularly corn. We were all raised into the idea of the food pyramid, that the foundations of our food pyramid were grain-based, rice-based, and breads, and cereals. And as we approached the upper levels of the food pyramid, we were told to hold off on any of those foods that were fattening, meaning that they were high in saturated fats or cholesterol. But what has happened? In the last 40 years, we've seen coronary artery disease skyrocket, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, obesity become literally endemic to the United States. Regardless of our attempts to live a low-fat lifestyle, we're in a significant healthcare crisis. We've learned that now historically the source of that coronary artery disease, the source of our atherosclerosis, was not fat consumption or cholesterol consumption. It was the direct result of consumption of refined carbohydrates. What does that mean? Well, if you take wheat and you take off all the healthy fiber and you remove all the nutrients and you just get down to the very basic levels of wheat that is just pure carbohydrate that doesn't have the vitamins and nutrients, those are refined carbs. We weren't designed to consume refined carbs. Our bodies have a maladaptive response. You look at the greatest cardiovascular centers in our country right now. All of these university settings are really strongly pushing a new understanding. And it's being borne out in the literature, it's being borne out in the lab, and it's becoming very clear the only solution will be only moving away from these refined carbs that have been pushed since the 1950s when fat was demonized. We're faced with a choice. Do we want to move forward as a country with decreasing the rate of metabolic syndrome, decreasing the rates of hypertension, of type two diabetes, of obesity, and move toward a more vital lifestyle that involves much higher energy, much less body mass index, virtually no type two diabetes. It's a choice to make and that is to choose foods and nutritional options that have healthy saturated fats that move us in the direction toward keto adaptation. That is, our body's preferentially using acetoacetate and beta-hydroxybutyrate rather than glucose as its main source of energy. It's where we are, and it's where we in the modern allopathic medical world are moving regarding this transition from center aisle grocery store, carbohydrate consumption versus healthy fat consumption.